the Purim story, part two. Take Shushan's new prime minister, Haman, a man with bottomless ambition. Pour in an obsession with power. Add in Mordechai's refusal to bow down to Haman. And top that with Haman burning with rage at Mordechai and the Jews. So Haman takes a shot at the Jews by drawing lots for their extermination. Haman fills the king's head with all these notions about the Jews and the king agrees to his plans. This made it a very bitter day for the Jews. Mordechai runs to Esther and tells her she's got to see the king. Her blood runs cold as ice at the news. But fear is bubbling up. She tells Mordechai she just can't go and see the king. She needs an invite. Esther has mixed feelings about what Mordechai has asked her to do. Esther tells Mordechai that the Jews have to fast for three days and to pray for her. Dropping into the king's court, Esther successfully invites Ahasuerus and Haman to a very special banquet. And that is the Purim story, part two.